Okay, so yes, randoms, apparently, rumour has it, if you drop a like on this video, I turn into a warrior. <laughs> I know, it sounds silly, doesn't it? But there is only one way to find out. We're going to count down together, press the like, and we're going to actually see if I turn into a warrior. Are you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Whoa, it actually worked. I am now a true strong warrior. Yeah! Wow! Oh, what? Yeah! Random gamer! <laughs> What's up, randoms? This random gamer, you randoms are here, and we're back with yet, 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 yeah! Another awesome video, and today we're gonna be playing Roblox Adventure Up. Adventure Up is a fun Roblox game, like Dungeon Quest, where you gotta adventure and level up. Adventure up. <laughs> okay, so yeah, in today's video, we're going to be showing you the strongest build on this game and how you can get it yourself. Yes! Make sure you are subbed to hit that bell and drop a like if you haven't already. Follow me on Roblox, RedofGamer underscore YT, join my group, get some of my epic merchandise, and join my Discord server, Twitter, and Facebook. Boom! Okay, so yes, Redems, I'm super excited. Hopefully, you're super excited. What are you all waiting for? Without further ado, let's kick some butt. Boom. Okay, so yeah, um, I do have a video on this game on how to play. There will be a link in the description below, of course. Uh, if you want to go ahead and watch that after this, make sure you do get your daily rewards right here. And by joining their Roblox group, you get double gems. So that's a really cool way of getting gems. I will do other videos on how to level up fast and also how to get yourself a load of gems. So yeah, for this build, let's go ahead and show you the abilities tree right here. And we'll explain, you know, kind of what you need to build and when you need to build it as you can see i'm level 60 and maxed out so shield is important for this build it helps you sustain damage swiftness is attack speed that's important then you have vitality for maximum health heal we don't always use that but it can be used for intimidation that's just an extra stat so we can move up now vigor increases the amount of healing we do then of course we have an extra heal which is healing ring just because you know there's nothing else to put it on uh, and support specialist which will increase out fortitude by six percent so this is all defensive don't need party shield and gem prosperity you want that extra gem drop chance now this kind of isn't important above this amount um rejuvenation is a last stat and early on you may want to do scholar so you ex increase your experience you can reset your points during the game anyway so the main stats you want to start building of course is things like quickness for your dodge and precision to increase your hit now i do have dash and that's to run faster uh, we have Fireblade and we have Fury. I don't bother with Cyclone. Don't have to put Dash on straight away. Do that later. Then Critical is, you know, Critical. <laughs> Get it, Critical. Uh, and Stump, because we're going to Stump on Monsters. Then we've got Physical Specialist. Gives us Strength. We've got Rock Strike, which is OP. We have Berserk, which is, you know, insane attack speed. We then have Rage, which will increase our Strength below 30% health, which we've already below 30%. So that's kind of useless. Don't really need it. It's just... I put it on because I could. Heroic Slam is good and lightweight. So, yeah. When you first start out, you want to actually uh, put your shield on first um, and then swiftness. Then from that, you want to go with heal and then you want to go with vitality. So then you can leave that at that. You don't really need to do intimidation. Later on, you'll start working towards more healing. Uh, then you want to start building your physical tree. Don't forget you need scholar so you can do more experience. Uh, rejuvenation is the last stat you want on. And yeah, we have quickness. You want that on. And precision. Don't put dodge on, uh, dash on to start with. Then fire blade is one of your first attacks you want to put on. Um, and fury increases your attack speed. Then you want to work up towards stomp and critical. Then you want to go for berserk. And then you want to go for rock strike. And just keep moving your way up anyway until you can get physical specialist, lightweight and heroic slam. Rage just put on literally your last stat points that you're very rarely going to be under. 30% health. Once you've done that, of course, then you can carry on building the rest of your abilities tree, such as your Vigor, Support Specialist, your Healing Ring, and your Gem Prosperity when you're running the max dungeons to get more gem drop chance. And then just Rejuvenation, because that's just extra stuff to put on. Now, your loadout is gonna uh, consist of not Dash. While early on you will use Fireblade, I don't really use it that much myself during the build. The main part of this build is Berserk for attack speed, Stomp, Heroic Slam, 
and Rock Strike, as well as a Shield, which, you know, if you really want to, you can kind of just keep switching the Shield in and out. You can put all these along, and then you can also put Fire Blade on, so you've got five attacks. But, you know, just to make the build nice and comfortable, I like to keep Shield there. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead right now and show you this build in action, because what good is a build if you don't see how to use it? So we're going to go into Dungeons, um, now, the best dungeon probably for actually running experience is Mythic Royal Halls for the last lot of experience. Just keep running that all the way to level 60. Uh, unless you can run things like Tomb of Ancients or Mount Ashia quite easily. Now, for this video, we're going to run maxed Mount Ashia so you can see how OP this warrior build actually is. There we go. So, we're going to go into custom, create party, solo maxed Mount Ashia. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, here we are in game. We're just going to go ahead and hit start. Um, do you want to be in shift lock for this game? And if you are on mobile, go into the settings and there will be a setting available where you can, you know, camera lock, which is essentially the same as shift lock. So that is important. Okay, so yeah, first thing you want to do is you want to put your shield up um, and then for the first lot of monsters, just stomp and drop yourself berserk down. Now, it has been a while since I've played this game, so I am a little bit rusty, but the majority of the time, you just want to be dropping things like you know your stomp should one shot these monsters depend on your gear now we'll show you gear um after we've done this run because i actually forgot about that uh but yeah as you can see just kind of hitting the monster just breezing through we're gonna keep jumping over here we're gonna just slam that guy and then drop a few hits on him so this build actually works you know whether you're soloing whether you're running in groups and whatnot and you can actually carry some uh, heavy weights that kind of will be you know, not carrying their own weight. If they aren't strong enough, you can kind of help them with this build as long as it's strong enough. So, yeah, we're going to actually just, like, slam the crap out of this guy. There we go. Now, I am taking some damage, so we can just quickly switch to heal. Now, it has been a while since I've played uh, this game, so I am rusty. Uh, I can usually run this build a lot smoother than what I'm running it at now. Uh, but, yeah, this is what we need to do is just keep the heals up. Uh, and then, yeah, just keep slamming on this guy right here. Try not to actually get hit by his stuff. Uh, I'm just going to go and put shield back on because, yeah, right now I should have my 30% extra damage. Uh, which, you know, we usually don't drop this low as long as you take it nice and careful. Right, so now we can just go in. But as you can see, like, you know, this guy's got a good amount of damage sustainability with this current build and the damage output is pretty much mental we just dominated that guy solo in so yeah as you've done that you can go up to here now what i used to do was when i ran this was i would actually switch to dash mid walking and then use dash to go forward and switch back but that's just gonna confuse you a lot if i start doing that during the video it's gonna be really overwhelming for you so we're just gonna show you a nice breezeful way of breezing through this dungeon literally like you know like the monsters are nothing but um yeah rock strike just keeps regenerating a lot to be honest you can just keep slamming that down put your berserk on and it's just literally a <laughs> i keep saying literally but you know literally we can just breeze through these monsters just so easily as you can see now i haven't been stacking but you can stack if you want where like you pull the monsters and then you just go ahead and just slam them or whatever you want to do to the monsters yeah kill them yeah and then we're going to go into here we're going to rock strike and we're going to slam there good night good boy now this bit i actually do like to use a uh, dash with uh just because you know it's kind of easier you can just do this and then boom you're straight over it's a lot 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 easier now i've actually forgot which ones go down and which ones uh, go up. But if you do this, sometimes you can actually get there. I failed that time. My bad. I failed. I failed. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> it's been a while since I've played this game. It feels so rusty. So we're going to jump to there. We're going to jump over to this one. And then we're going to go into here. Over to there. Uh, and then I'm going to go on to that one. One, two, three three there we go look as you can see we can just about get there but either way you do it you just want to get over to this side essentially now we're going to go ahead and switch back to our berserk uh right there uh come on come on there we go right so now we're going to go in we're going to start pulling these monsters up we're going to pull these ones back into a stack 
Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and finish them. Hopefully they don't de -aggro. There you go. Drop your stunning first. Um, if you do struggle with health and stuff, you want to drop that stunning first anyway. Um, and then over to here. You can just, I don't know, if you really want to, you can just drop a nice slam on those. And then move up to these guys. Like It doesn't matter what order you do these in. You can play a bit more tactile. Uh, tactical or you can play you know a little bit more careless like I am right now not really paying much attention to actually what's going on what I'm doing kind of thing I'm just yellowing this uh, just to show you kind of how breathable the build is not even you know kind of taking caution at all it's just a case of just I don't know wading through the monsters yeah 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 just like yeah <laughs> you good at Okay, so we're going to move up to here. We're going to go and rock slam those guys. We're going to slap them. Yeah, keep pulling back a little bit and finish that dude. There we go. Look, I can spend my skills a bit more tactful if I wanted. You know, like kind of pace them out so we kind of don't run out of timers and stuff. Like, as you can see, I can stack stomp with um, rock throw there. And then I can kind of heroic slam guys there. And then as we move up to these now, we've got another rock throw and another stomp ready. Uh, we can just finish that guy. And then for the next stack, if you really want, we then have another rock throw ready. And we have Berserk. Now, Berserk is pretty, pretty OP for this build, especially for bosses. Bosses, Berserk's going to be absolutely crazy for as well. So we're going to move in and we're going to stack these guys just before the bridge. And we'll slam those. And then we're going to go over the bridge. Yeah, we killed those guys. Sweet. Now we're going to move over to here. We're going to stack these guys with the guys there. Uh, because, like, there is a certain aggro range on the monsters. And you don't really want to go too far. Uh, because if you do, then, like, the monsters are like, Nah, I give up. Bye. And they go back home and you're like, Bro, I want to fight you. Kind of thing. So, yeah, you, you don't want to go too far away from the monsters. <laughs> Okay, so this guy is on his own. We're going to bring him in, and then we're just going to do a nice little easy breezy slam. Easy breezy slam, yeah. Boom, boom. And now we're on Azrael the Infernal, which is where you get pretty much the best drops and whatnot for this game. And, yeah, just keep moving with this guy. Uh, first things first, he will put up a little bridge for you to jump over. Make sure you jump. You don't want to fall into the gap like uh, this guy I was playing with called Andrew. He just jumped and... Fell into the gap. <laughs> there you my friend. There we go. So, yeah, we just spam our abilities now. Um, and we're just going to lay them down. Uh, just stay out of his AoEs. And then just... There you go. As soon as you've done about... I think it's around a third of his health. Um, just over a third. It will drop down out the way. And then we get to go into this group. So, you want to stack all these together. Keep moving. Keep jumping. Because these guys can drop you and do hurt. Now, stomp first um, and then um, rock throw so as you can see the stomp stuns them and that is vital when you have a big stack like that because if you don't stun them they're gonna shrek you and you're gonna be dead mm -hmm. yeah this is a really op but it is kind of glass cannon the build especially early on until you get more health and stuff uh, the build is glass cannon so you do want to keep moving as much as you can um, and you really don't want to get hit, which is what we have the stun for, um, as well as, of course, you know, insane amounts of damage. Because what's dead can't hurt you. I mean, if he's dead on the floor, he ain't gonna hurt you. And for everything that does hurt you, you just gotta keep moving, stunning, stomping, and dodging. Yeah. Come on. Okay, so we're gonna stack these dudes up again. <laughs> get up to daddy. Over to here. Now we're gonna stun, and then we're gonna slam a doodle. No, not slam a doodle. I don't know, rock throw, whatever that ability is. Rock strike, there we go. It's close enough. Like I said, it's been a while since I've played this game. But it's super fun. I like this game. You know, it's kind of like Dungeon Quest. And I, yeah, I came pretty addicted to this game. I will be live streaming it. There's trading on the game. I can give stuff away on live streams. Obviously, you can see how powerful my character build is. And I haven't even got, like, you know, the best gems and stuff. But there, there you go. As you can see, that was real Real easy, just to breeze through. Um, yeah, let's see what we actually got just. We got a gem of agility, which, nah, we don't really want those. And we got a rare amulet of sorcery. Like, I've got all this to give away, and my bank is absolutely loaded with stuff to give away as well. So, yeah, we've got a couple of amulets of sorcery. I'll keep that one for now. 
Um, but I do need to give stuff away because I've got a load, a load of stuff. So, what we're going to do is we are now going to go into my character. Now, here's my stats. You know, I have like... 1,133 strength, low agility and low accuracy, fortitude 827, you know, kind of strength is what you want to stack on this build, to be honest, intellect you don't really need, and you know, attack damage and defense just comes from your gear, so yeah, the best gear is going to be your second age helmet, that gives you strength, accuracy and fortitude, it's mainly the strength you want, uh, and as you can see, it is ram full of strength gems, then uh, second age chest plate is also ram full of strength gems, Second Age Gauntlet, Strength Gems. Second Age Plate Legs, Strength Gems. Amulet of Power, Best Amulet, Strength, Strength Gems. And Azrael's Eyes, Gems of Strength in the Ring of Power. And then Infernal Blades are the best weapons, which you actually get, I think, from the difficulty before this. Uh, I will have to do a video on how, like, where to get these items, because I kind of forgot right now. Unless anyone knows, you can drop it in the comments down below. So yeah, Infernal Blades with Gems of Strength and Azrael Eyes. Now, for this build, Azrael Eyes and Gems of Strength are your best friend. When you put in, you know, all your gems, you want to put level 2s first, and then... After you've rammed them full of level 2s, you want to go level 3s, level 4s, 5s, and so on. Now, the eyes are good as well because they give you strength and I think it's like agility or something. But it's mostly the strength you want from those. Let's go return to the lobby and I'll show you the Azrael eyes. Okay, so yeah, if we go straight over to here, there is the upgrade guy. Uh, but before we go there, I'm going to show you the amount of items I've got to give away on live streams and videos, of course. So... Boom, there we go, let's scroll down. You can see I have Inferno stuff, I have spare second age stuff to give away, uh, some two sockets, some even three sockets and stuff. I just have an insane amount of stuff to give away on live streams to you. Yes, when we actually live stream this, which I will do, just not too sure when. When I was healing, by the way, I forgot, I do actually have a Frostfire Tome and a Frostfire Staff. If I put those on and then heal, my healing is actually a lot, lot, lot more powerful. So, yeah, you want to keep yourself some spare offhand and main hand magic weapons as well with intellect on um and then you can always stack you know yourself i don't even think i've got any but you can stack some int gems in there just so you can heal a lot faster so we've got that there um we've got all those to give away if we go over to here now what i need to do is if i drop this weapon off for example and de-socket these you'll be able to see the um stacks on them so if we go to uh, upgrade and drag that in we're going to be able to remove actually we don't need to remove the gem so yeah as you can see a gem of strength level four gives you 16 strength it's four strength for a level one eight strength for a level two and then 12 strength for a level three which requires two twos and that's why i say stack your items with twos first and then threes and so on now of course azrael eyes are better because a level three azrael eye is as is better than a level 4 gem of strength but they're harder to get so in the long run you want four azrael eyes but in the short term you want a mixture of both because you want a lot of strength for this build okay sweet don't forget by the way i do have a full how to play video on this game there will be a link in the description below and at the end of this video watch till the end and it will pop up on the screen for you to click anyway so you can also uh you know go over to here there is crafting in the game uh where you can craft you know armors weapons you can refine stuff up to higher rarity they added potions which was alchemy and stuff my suggestion i suggested this to the developers foraging and alchemy uh even though i haven't done it i'm glad you know the developers listened and they've added this in the game great developers absolutely fantastic team you know they are amazing seriously so yeah we've got all that crafting and and then you can go into an area over there. See that white area? You go to explore areas where you can chop wood and you can mine ores. Uh, you can craft them into bars and stuff. So then you can craft items, which early on may help you, may not. And then here is where like you can sell and stuff. Uh, but yeah, really cool game. Really like it. And that is my strongest build. I don't know if there's stronger builds out there. But I always build my own builds on games like this. I've played RPG games from a very, very young age. So I know what I'm doing. Okay, so yes, friends, that just brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you haven't already, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you slap that notification bell. And got it ringing. Blah, 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 and make sure notifications are set to all so you don't miss out on any awesome content. Make sure you follow me on Roblox and join my group. Check out my epic roblox merchandise designed by moi, me myself don't forget join my discord twitter and facebook yeah okay so yeah we have been doing roblox adventure of the best build 
you'll ever see. Money back guarantee. You see a stronger build, I'll give you the money back that you spent watching my video. Yeah. Okay, so yes, Redems. Roblox Adventure up. Your randoms have been absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. I've been Random Gamer. Don't forget to stay awesome, stay random, and I'll see you randoms on my next video or live stream. Peace out. Goodbye. Okay, so yeah, that's the end of the video, but it doesn't have to, you know, end there. We have this video. If you want to go ahead and click that and watch that, I mean, do it. Oh, we've got this one right here. Or oh, why not? Watch some of this, or watch some of this. I know, it's hard to choose, but you gotta choose one, and only you know which one.